Hi there! Welcome back to How to Creative. I brought my MacBook on a trip abroad and macOS Catalina Public Beta just came out. Once I started installing it, it got stuck halfway saying that I have not enough space available. Only thing I could do was restart and it's an endless loop. You cannot get out of it. So I spoke an hour on the phone with Apple support that told me I might lose all my files. Not on my watch. I've tried choosing my internal hard drive to start up uh, instead of the installer holding the option key when starting up, but that does not work. I've tried the internet recovery mode, so that's command option R, and also did not work. I tried everything to no avail. However, I managed to fix it without losing any of my files. I will walk you through the steps of how I solved it for me and a couple people I know that had the same problem. But if you proceed to do this, do it at your own risk. The only thing you will need is an external hard drive. Make sure there are no files on it because we're going to erase and format this external hard drive. We're going to use this to install a clean version of macOS in order to free up some space on our internal hard drive. Once you have plugged in an empty external hard drive, you want to start up your Apple PC and then hold Command R until you see the Apple logo. This will boot into recovery mode. Go into Disk Utility, click on View, and then click Show All Devices. Then under External, click your main external drive and click Erase. Double check if it is your external hard drive. Name the disk however you want. For format, choose APFS. This is Apple's default format. And Scheme GUID Partition Map. Click Erase. Next, you want to click Reinstall macOS and install it on your external hard drive. Attention, don't choose your internal drive. This will delete all your files. Once you have chosen your external drive, it will start installing macOS. After this, go through the steps of setting up your Mac. Now you're using your Apple computer from the external hard drive. Then in Finder, you want to reach your internal hard drive, probably called something like Macintosh HD. From here, you'll be able to delete or move some files from Macintosh HD, your internal hard drive, to your external hard drive. Make sure to delete or move enough files to get plenty of free space. I would say aim for 25 gigabytes of free space. After this, restart and hold the option key. Now choose your internal Macintosh HD to boot. If everything went well, it will finish installing or updating macOS Catalina. After securing your backed up files, you can format your external hard drive again. I hope it worked for you as it did for me. So what you need to know before installing or update macOS Catalina Beta is that you have plenty of space available and to make a backup using Time Machine before every update. This was How to Creative. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.